Bosco time. All the things that you need for Bosco. your home price is so low, you will never need never. a loan at Bosco. Tell it. At Bosco. Watch where you're shopping. Appliances, houseware, furniture, and rugs. Gifts and linens and glass All and mugs at Bosco. Welcome to the, the show. Welcome to another exciting and wonderful and very, very politically correct Bashko show. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Whether it's early in the morning or late at night or it's way after this was aired on television and you're watching it on social media, thank you very much. We have a lot of very interesting and exciting stuff in. Some of it is um, comeback ins, as it were, and some of it is completely brand new. And of course, some of it is very time sensitive because we are in a very bad mosquito season with dengue all around. So, Let's start right down here. Cookingware, kitchenware, bakingware is nothing new to Bashko. We have had it in stock, I think, from the very beginning. And we're just developing that line a little bit further every time we can. And we try and bring in what you ask for and we bring in what we know will be accessible to all of you guys. Okay, so we'll start right here. We had this before, they're back in stock. Okay, guys. A paella pan or a stir fry pan if you want to call it or a big flat pan if you want to do whatever you want to do on it. Very, very good. <clears throat> now, as we go through today, we're going to talk about maybe stuff for your home usage, stuff if you have a restaurant, if you're a caterer, a lot of this stuff will be very effective and can be useful for all of those groups. So we'll make mention of it as we go along. Of course, we have basically the entire line of Imusa saute pans or frying pans for whatever size you want and guys these are non-stick pans these are ptfe which is polytetrafluoroethylene it's a long way of saying non-stick pans non-stick coating guys and you know there's a lot of exciting stuff about that and maybe if you guys want we can do an info corner one day and explain where this whole non-stick thing came from and we talk about ptfe polytetrafluoroethylene all right guys and because that's not the only one now there's like um ceramic coatings which are also non-stick so we'll get to that eventually but also in here, I think this is the last of it. We brought these in, and before I even had a chance to tell you about them, guys, this is all we have left again. These are, of course, the cast iron saute or frying pans, guys. Fantastic for doing a wide array of, of cooking. And this is solid, very, very heavy cast iron, okay? And we come on down here, and you'll see some, these are the pots we've had, I think, like I said, from Time and Memoriam, the classic cook line of pots and you come down and you have your classic cook dutch pots in various sizes your traditional soup or rice pot and then we have these which are a little hardier you guys are familiar with these as well for pretty much anything you want to do okay guys imusa is the brand for this one if you are looking for it or you're interested again a little bit in various sizes and again, that is for your home. You may have a cook shop. You might have anything out the road you're trying to work on. I mean, we make a joke all the time. We talk about if you're having a party and you don't have a soup pot on the outside, it's not a real party. So come and get your soup pot so you can have a, a real party. Now, these are new. We have always had the classic cook stuff in the traditional, I want to call it like a, a marble pattern. Can I call it like a marble pattern on the outside of it? Black with, with, with some silver in it. But these are new. This is very, very exciting stuff. I mean, Color is back in the kitchen. We talk about it a lot lately. So you want something a little bit different. It is the same food grade aluminum, non-stick interior, easy to clean, but it has this very nice, oh good, the plastic is off here so I can show you. Really nice red sheen to it. I don't know if it's just that maybe it's so close to some colors I'm very, very au fait with, but I just think it's very nice. And having it in various sizes as well would help you in your kitchen, okay? We have some over here as well. And then along with the red, we have this coppery rose gold finish. And this is really nice. Now I want you guys to understand these are not the copper non-stick pans. We know that you guys have been asking for that and we do have a copper crisper tray down there we can talk about in a bit. This is the standard um, anti-stick, non-stick coating, sorry. It's just a copper finish. So don't get too excited necessarily yet. But do come down because they are very sturdy and they're very, very nice. This is 20 centimeters. Where does this come from? Up here? 
I reached it. I'm very proud of myself. So again, various sizes. You have your 20 centimeter. We have a 24 centimeter, and we have a 30 centimeter. Oh, and these are the 24s in the traditional style. And then we do also have it in the pots. So let's say you had to get a gift for someone, someone who maybe was moving into a new place, maybe they've just started cooking. This would be a great way to get a bunch of pots and pans that can color coordinate in their space. Really nice idea. And then we have, this is the larger one. And this is another, like that same marbleized design. Okay guys, same caldero, so aluminum Dutch pot. <laughs> okay, and down here, these are more of a commercial grade set. I think this is the last of what we had, guys. You remember that we had a really, really big steaming size pot. So we still have a few of them, guys. This is commercial grade pots and pans down here. And you can always ask for them. Okay, guys. Coming out here, you have some of the Imusa, the smaller aluminum. Oh, comes with a recipe inside. That's nice. Hmm. Baby scallops and brown rice. I might have to keep that one. <laughs> All right, guys, so we do have various sizes in the, the Dutch pots here. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Copper rectangle crisping tray. So the way this works is that how it's done, it uses that elevation so that air circulates. Oh, there you go. Heat circulates around the food. No turning, no burning, no added butter or oil, less calories and less fat. And it's both oven and dishwasher safe and it gives you that texture of the food having been fried even though it was crisped in an oven. And we have different sizes, we have the rectangle and we have the round one. All right, so we come down here because we're all about cooking and kitchen today. And when you're all about cooking and in the kitchen, you have to talk about your prep first. So you want to get a really nice cutting board and I'm very excited to see some stuff here. Kind of blew my mind when I saw it, when I was looking for the store. Really nice bamboo patterns for your home in your kitchen. Now, it's kind of like a statement, right? Before, the kitchen was something that was hidden away. So no one saw the prep. No one was supposed to see what was going on or what you were using. But now it's a bit different. Homes are designed with a bit of an open layout. So people can now see into your kitchen. And you can use these things in your kitchen as decorative as well as functional. So these patterns is also very heavy. <laughs> it's quite a surprise just now. But these patterns are really, really nice to have. You could even use it as a, as a hot mat instead of just using it as a cutting board. So you get a couple, you get some different ones. One of the things, if you are in a cooking class or if, you know, you just cook often, you would know that you don't want to be using the same cutting boards for raw meat and cooked meat or vegetables, okay guys? And then if you have other food considerations in your home, say someone who doesn't eat pork, you want to make sure you cut that separately and if you have allergies as well, you want to make sure. So it's a good decision to get maybe a set of cutting boards that you can easily differentiate what is for what. This is just an example, of course. You could pick up three of the same bamboo ones if you wanted and just know that, you know, if you're gonna be in your kitchen, which one should be for which. But it is very nice. Along with this, the back is textured. So the nice thing about this is with these, what is encouraging any kind of cooking class is you damp a paper towel or a rag and you place it down so that when this goes down, it doesn't shift all over the place. But because this is textured on the back, this will sit on a countertop easily. So the nice thing about this is you wouldn't necessarily have to use this as a cutting board. You could actually use this as a cheese board. Maybe you're using it to, as again, a, a trivet or a, a hot mat. Really, really nice and very affordable. This is a different design again. Yeah. And then these, there you go, are now your bamboo trivets. But the nice thing about these again, guys, is that they are vented. So the heat displacement on your hot pot, the plate, whatever, will come all the way through and it will not scald either your tablecloth, which if you're not using a, either a, a lace or some kind of fabric, it won't scald or burn. We have a very, very nice range of non-stick muffin and baking pan, and even pizza pans. Is that a self-service, self, self personal-sized pizza pan? Oh my goodness, this is, I was gonna say this is new, but I'm seeing some more behind here. They're, there. All right, guys, I'm going to show you something I just saw. Look behind there. <laughs> Space permitting, we would have had them out everywhere. And that means there's two sizes of that. So if you like me and you love a good pizza. Uh-oh. 
you like a good pizza, we have great size pizza pans for you. Um, either for personal size or you're making for the whole family. Now remember, when you're baking, a lot of recipes are going to ask you, based on the time you want to keep it in the oven and the temperature, it will vary between non-stick and what they consider shiny or regular pans. Usually non-stick pans can be at a, I want to say a lower temperature and be in the oven for less amount of time and get the same amount of baking done. Something to bear in mind when you're going to buy a non-stick baking pan. After you bake, you need to cool. And we still have, I don't want to pick it up, so you guys come and look. They're a bit tight together. We still have your cooling racks. Now this is very important because cooling racks allow, whether it be cookies or cupcakes or cakes, to cool the entire surface at the same time. Because normally if you just put them on a, a plate or something, look, see another one here, good example. Normally, if you put them flat on a plate, air is not circling to the bottom of the pastry or whatever you're baking. So this allows them to cool faster and cool evenly all the way through. Something you want to look forward to. Now, I'm very glad to see these back. For your gas ranges, these are very, very nice. It makes cleaning that gas range after you're cooking much, much easier. These go right over the burner. So not on top of the grill. You have your burner, you have your grill top. This goes between those two things. And really good, so for those messes and whatever, they're not getting onto the surface of your range, they're getting onto these. And you can either take them up and wash them, or you can throw them away and get some new ones. I saw this, and I believe this is a, it is a set. It's very well wrapped. Now, most cooking classes will tell you that stainless steel is probably the best thing for either storing or mixing, preparing, whether it be baking, cooking, doesn't matter what you're doing, stainless steel is the best. And these have lids. So this is great. Say you want to do some prep work for whatever you're doing on the day itself or the night in front. You do it all in here. You seal them up, put them in your fridge. Or, or, and when you're ready for your cooking, you just display them out because that's the best thing. When you're cooking, you have everything in front of you one time. You're not running away for more ingredients or going anywhere else. Having these stainless steel bowls nearby and handy will be absolutely awesome for any cooking process you're going through. And it'd be a great gift for someone who is now getting into cooking. All right. Now, for you caterers again, I told you we're going to be bringing this back home. We still have a lot of the foil baking and serving, because it's not just baking, we use this for serving pans. Various sizes, we have the ones with lids, we have the smaller ones. We even have disposable baking for pizza, right? Now this doesn't have to just be for pizza, you can use this for anything you want. But these are really, really nice for you guys to get a hold of. These are also covered. This is a multi-compartment pan. That's really cool. So if I know some of you businesses who have started up doing um, prepared healthy lunches, it's a good option for you guys to have that in because we know we want to be moving away from styrofoam. Keep that in mind guys, that is happening in 2020. Be prepared for it. Lots of various things available. Oh, so we continue with the cooking and the cutting boards. This is one of the largest cutting boards I have ever seen. It's also very heavy. Okay, professional cutting board, really nice if you know someone who wants it. Now you could also use this, I suppose, if you are decorating cakes or you wanted to display something, you could use it as well. It's very heavy, professional cutting board, resists cracking, warping and chipping. Very durable and easy to clean. It's hard to tell you guys, but the, can you hear that? No? It's also very good because it's, it's textured, so it's not going to slip around on your tabletop. For serving your cakes, these are absolutely beautiful as a gift or for someone, maybe you want it for your own home. This adds a lot of style and flair to something very simple. As you can see, four little cakes in here, whether it was a whole cake, maybe you wanted to just display some bread. It, it looks great. Oranges not included. Bear that in mind. Now, for those of you who are very confident in your chef skills, I don't recommend the use of cleavers to every and everybody. These are very good heavy weighted cleavers with this little, this little hanging hook um, spot if you want to hang it up somewhere. Very good for meat, chopping chicken, whatever you want guys, they are available. And I think we have two different sizes. Yes, this one is all cinched in and safe in there, but come and see them for yourself guys. We're going to go over here, we have a lot of utensils that maybe some people didn't think we had and I like to spend time on those. So. For the professional chef or for the home chef, this is a very nice both look and feel and functionality on various 
utensils for your kitchen. I'm going to start with this. If you're into deep frying, this is an absolute must. This is used a lot. I think in oriental cooking, I want to say. Uh, this is designed to effectively and efficiently remove something from, like you're making fried dumpling, you want to take it out without the oil staying into the spoon or melting the spoon because of the heat of the oil and what have you. Very, very useful to get in and out. The oil drains off of the thing and then you can put it onto the paper plate or wherever you're putting it. Very, very, very effective tool. You have a very nice stainless steel turner. Now this is, this is solid guys, it's quite weighty. Very, very nice wooden handle and it's very thin right here so it's easier for you, for you to get under whatever you're trying to turn one of the things you want to have in mind at all times is understanding the utensil you're using in which part you're using so this is great if you're using non this is not a lifter but um let's go with this you're in a non-stick pan you want to use one of these if you're going to be using a metal pot or pan you can use one of these remember the harder the material, the more likely it is to scratch. Metal is denser and harder than plastic, so it will scratch plastic, and you can use this in plastic without worrying that you're going to scratch your surfaces. And remember, non-stick coating on a pan or pot, this will scrape off easily, especially because of the edges. All right, guys, so bear that in mind. So this is also a type of, can we call it a, a basket lifter, as it were, so it will drain off the oil, very good for frying. And then you have a, shallow ladle very good also yes for soup and for porridges but also very good say you need to be ladling something out of a uh, prep dish to go into something else all right so we're making pancakes or batter for for whatever you're doing this is a good option come down the line slightly and we're gonna look i mean we're, you're gonna be having your outdoor parties you're gonna be doing all kinds of stuff on the outdoors maybe you want to do some barbecue kebabs we have really really nice I want to say pretty heavy duty skewers here. Very, very sturdy stuff. So you guys can come and pick these up. And I don't even know how much in the pack, but it's a lot. Very nice skewers right here. Whisks, you can. <laughs> you can never get enough whisks for various applications in any kitchen, whether it be commercial or personal. All right, great to pick up also your salad tongs. And you guys, have, we've always had this smart cook line of lifters, turners, ladles, the whole works. Now, if you are making soup at that same party, you have a party out there, you need a proper soup spoon. Hello? That is a soup spoon. This is, for, this is for you to drink the soup with, but this, this is a soup pot spoon. This thing right here. Good heavens. Soup ladle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still quite impressed by the whole, the manufacture of the whole thing. All right, guys, we have a lot more to see. I'm going to put this whisk back and stay. Stay. Oh, and potato mashers, both in plastic and stainless steel. Very useful. Come on, guys, come this way. Because we're going to talk again about if you're having an event, maybe you're at a caterer or you're doing something for yourself. These are really good tools. These are tablecloth protectors. This is that clear vinyl. So yes, you might have some fabric underneath, but you want something on top to protect both the table and the tablecloth. These are amazing. Okay, guys, heavy gauge. I think it's almost the same material as the packaging that's in it. Great for parties and everyday usage. This is 52 by 90. And make sure you know your space. All right, this will give you an idea of the size 60 by 108. That's very large. 60 by 120. So you want to know the size of the table you're covering and then you can use that for it. Now, we have some more here and this is really what I wanted to see for you party planners and your caterers and someone who just, you know, entertains often. These are new. We didn't have these last year and I'm so glad to see them. These are those, I want to call them party style tablecloth covers or table covers rather. So we have them in the um, trestle table and we also have them in the bistro table or bar tables as you want to call them. Really nice. This adds a lot of flair, a lot of creativity and fun to a simple, I mean, this is really, you guys know the table, we six foot or four foot or eight foot folding tables and putting this on it, it makes it feel like a really nice bar or hotel or something. So come down and get them for yourself guys. We do also have the flannel backed tablecloth protectors and a whole array of tablecloths and rags and such that you guys can be using whether 
personally or at a party or as a caterer or as an event planner. All right, guys. Now, over here, these are new and I'm sure I'll get some looks from people in, who like this type of design. This is, I don't think I've ever seen this before in here. This is, of course, a quasi standard um, cutlery tray or cutlery drawer organizer. But this is in that same bamboo style that we've been seeing around now. Really, really nice. I, I'm getting some very encouraging nods from behind the camera. So, <laughs> really, really nice. And you could even use this if hey, you don't want to put it in the kitchen. Maybe you want a desk organizer. Maybe you want something on top of a desktop for your pens or your pencils, your, your stapler, your whatever you want. Really nice things here and very, very good prices, of course, as well for you. And, oh, these are new as well. I didn't know we had these ones as well. Cutlery holders as well. Various colors, guys. I'm seeing red and silver. If this is what you want in your drawer or on the top of your, your cabinet, anywhere you want this, this can be very, very useful. The nice thing about this is that this is, this is steel up here, but this is coated. See that coating there, guys? Which means that this stuff, your, your cutlery, is not going to scratch or scuff the metal that it rests on. So this will be for your, your longer stuff, your serving spoons, maybe your kitchen knives, the large knives you're going to be using, and then the rest of your cutlery goes in that tray. Really nice, very, wait, hello? <laughs> this is the same type of rose gold thing, copperish finish. Boy, we're really bringing in some very nice things these days. Whether or not I knew about it before is not relevant. It's really, really very nice to see there. All right, so. All right, so we have some other stuff up here, guys. Remember, at any party, you're gonna need an ice scoop. Or if you're not having a party, you want a very good scoop for either your seasonings, your spices, maybe you have dog food. All right, guys, these are great. You have the metal and we have the plastic ones. And then all up here, you'll see sieves, strainers, and really, really tiny versions of the um, skimmer strainer. That's what they're called. Skimmer strainers for your, your fried foods, guys. Put this back. All right. Now, over here, we also have something very interesting I didn't get a chance to make mention of earlier. Now, this is regular drawer liner or shelf liner. But over here, what we have, this is um, an anti-slip mat. It's not adhesive, but it does sit very firmly on whatever you put it on. Now, the thing here kind of shows you, like, so, you know, you have an area where you have some jars or you have cutlery. Maybe you want to decorate a space or what have you. But these are also extremely useful for small tools and repairs. So say you have a surface, maybe you have computer parts and that kind of stuff, and you want them to not damage the surface you're working on. Very, very useful because it's pretty thick without being obtrusive. It doesn't have any holes in it. There's some other grip liner that has holes in them that you'll sometimes, you wonder where you know, a small screw or, a, or a, a nail has gone. Very, very useful for cleaning those type of applications. All right, guys? Now we also have up here, I want to make mention of these. Now it, it might be a bit of a confusing name, bar mop towel. But that's because when a bartender is working, they consider it, if there's a lot of liquid in a space on top of the bar, you mop it up, even with a, a hand. So these are pretty much, that's what it means. They're ultra absorbent towels, perfect for everyday cleaning. All right, guys? And uh, we also have over here, your traditional, I mean, we have a name for this out here. We'll just call it a cleaning cloth. Observant, multi-purpose, lint-free. And then of course you come towards your oven mitts. We have a lot of styles of this. Now this actually has like a silicone coating. Oven mitts and pot holders. Very, very nice, attractive stuff. Also we have the silicone ones which are very good for extremely high temperatures. <clears throat> now we're gonna go down here a bit now. So we can make sure I didn't forget anything for you guys. And look over here. I mean speaking about use of that natural wood or bamboo in your kitchen space. And so what we have here, I don't think we've had it for a little while now, are natural bamboo coasters. And I wanna open this. Please don't tear. So the nice thing about this is even when you're not using it, it looks nice in the space. All right, let's look at these. Really nice. Now coasters are designed for your glasses and stuff guys to go so you're not resting the wet glasses or hot glasses, cups or whatever directly on top of your table or your surface. But these are very, very nice, very affordable. And there are different styles here, so you can pick which one that would suit your needs. All right. Now, the other thing that's been happening a lot lately, there's a lot of discussion 
about mosquitoes and the various mosquito-borne viruses. So we at Bashkar are trying to make sure we have a space to give you access, easy access to a lot of stuff you can use to protect you and your family against the evil Aedes aegypti mosquito. Let's go. Hey guys, so over here at this little spot, as it were, we have on display a number of the agents, could we call it agents, devices, whatever you want to call it, for ridding your home of the pesky mosquitoes and protecting you and your family from dengue and other viruses as such. Uh, we do also have the citronella candles. We do have those available for you guys as well, which helps to keep the mosquitoes away. So behind me up here, you will see your mosquito bat or mosquito racket or whatever you want to call it guys. We have various ones, mosquito swatter. Some have, some of these are the rechargeable units. Some take batteries. Some of them can be plugged into the wall. So we have a lot of them guys for you to have available for you. Now over here, people were asking what's going on with the the buzz off screens. People are asking about those. These are your magnetic door screens, guys. Using a simple setup of some Velcro and some magnets. All right, you can easily put up this as a, oh, there's a great picture right here. As a, a, a mesh screen to prevent bugs from coming into your home. Turn this again. So it separates right in the middle and the magnets will close it back and keep it closed. So you pass through and it closes up immediately and it's very very easy to install and we do have them in a number of colors i don't see which one this is but we do have them in a number of colors i think we have um oh yes there, there. not on this one but we have it in white and brown in green and in black as well very nice for pre preventing the entry of the huh? no mosquito no dengue and then you come to your traditional bug spray we use the we have the bug off brand here available um, environmentally friendly, very very nice to have that. Multi-purpose aerosol insecticide spray. There's not much to say about this guys, it kills flying and crawling insects. So it will also of course kill the pesky mosquito. Alright, this is very important. You want to keep on with your kids guys. I've, I've heard some very bad stories about children and aerosol pesticide cans. You really want to be careful, it's, it's, it's it's dangerous for kids to get these in their hands. You keep them away from them, keep the caps on, and keep the kids from having any access to those things. And then we have the mosquito coils, okay? Also environmentally friendly. These work very well, guys, again, and it, it, you guys know this thing better than I do. Put them in your home, put them in a space, your bedroom, maybe in the living room, any space you think you're gonna need to be preventing the access of the mosquitoes into, and just, if you liked it guys, you might want to keep a little tray underneath it to catch some of the ash as it falls off. But we have them available for you and very affordable. This is just um, $80 for this. There you go. Really, really easy way to help prevent the spread of dengue. And then, of course, for your either your bed or for your children's bed, we have these available guys. The mosquito netting or the cover that goes drapes right over your bed. I have seen these for when you're asleep, guys. You want you don't want the things to have access to you. So you, you can't always be leaving these burning. You can't be spraying in your sleep. So this is a great way to make sure that your loved ones, yourself, you're in your bed and the mosquitoes do not have access to you. The sleep and plays we do sell also come with a mosquito cover that would fit over your baby's crib or the sleeping area. Alright guys, so we're encouraging you to be careful. Also remember citronella we do have available for you. Um, light the citronella candles wherever you can, you know, wherever you're going to be so you can prevent the spread of dengue and other mosquito-borne illnesses. But thank you. We looked at a lot of stuff today. Uh, we had a great time in the kitchenware, cookware aisle. We looked at the Imusa pots, the classic cook pots. We looked at the different types of frying pans we have available. Those new, very nice red pots that we have available. We looked at the bamboo cutting boards, other cutting boards, and we went through and we looked at all the kitchen utensils, some very nice cutlery trays, and some great plastic protectors um, for your tables, no matter whether you be a caterer or just, you know, having some stuff at home. But thank you for being with us. Please remember to follow us on all of our social media, www.facebook.com slash B-A-S-H-C-O, and at Bashko Jamaica, and me at Omar Bashko to see what we're going to be doing because we do have exciting things coming up for you this year. Thank you, and please be careful with the mosquito stuff, guys. Take precaution, hemorrhagic dengue is no joke. Love you, we'll see you next time. Bashko time. All the things that you need. Bashko. Price is so low, you will never need.
Show.